Ah, Christmas movies. Is there anything more heartwarming and joy inducing than sitting down and watching a good old fashioned holiday film? So I figured why not see what we can do with AI to create our own Christmas movies. I know we all just love those heartwarming, predictable Christmas movies that play on repeat every year. You know the ones where the protagonist rediscovers the true meaning of Christmas thanks to a small town in which he go undergoes a murderous killing spree. Garbage day! All right, we're going to be using ChatGPT. This is basically like a new AI chatbot by OpenAI, but it's incredibly sophisticated. Essentially how it works is you start by just asking it a question, giving it a prompt. So thinking about Christmas movies, the first thing that came to my mind was why not do a movie about evil Christmas trees based on the 1960s film Day of the Triffids. Alright, let's see what the AI can come up with. I found this prompt template that worked really well on Twitter where basically you give it the description of the movie you want and then you give it the format that you want the uh, answer to be in. One of the really cool things about chat GPT is you can continue to ask additional questions, follow-up questions basically based on the initial output. For instance, you might ask it for a movie synopsis and then your follow-up question might be something like, what do the characters look like? Describe some scenes from the movie, those kind of things. All right, Trifford Christmas, their holiday cheer will turn to fear. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. So to generate the images, I'm gonna use Mid Journey version four. Mid Journey version four is really, really good for cinematic style screen grabs. Basically, I just grabbed the output from the AI in terms of the description of the character and just threw it into Mid Journey to see what it generated. I found that adding the prefix DVD screen grab works really well for generating something that looks like a movie screenshot. And here we have the image of our main character. The movie takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where the Triffids, plant creatures, have ravaged much of the planet. The survivors are constantly on the move, searching for safe places to hide from the creatures. It's Christmas time, and the Triffids have continued to plague the world, making it difficult for people to celebrate the holiday season. John and Sarah are struggling to keep their families safe from the creatures. John, a former soldier who survived the initial invasion, has been fighting the creatures for years. Sarah, John's sister, who is struggling to keep her family safe during the Triffid ravaged holiday season. The Triffids are mutated plants with venomous tentacles that can kill and control humans. John and Sarah are both running low on supplies and weapons. As they search for a way to defeat the Triffids, they are confronted by a group of rogue soldiers who are determined to use the Triffids as weapons of war. In a sudden plot twist, as John and Sarah try to stop the soldiers from using the Triffids, they discover that the creatures had developed a new ability. They can now reproduce and create offspring. The Triffids are spreading faster than ever, and the survivors must find a way to stop them before they can take over the world. Alright, so this time I thought, why not do a movie, another Christmas movie obviously, this time by George Lucas, and Steven Spielberg. Well, of course, it generated a Star Wars Christmas film. This one seems to be kind of like Return of the Jedi combined with Christmas. It's Christmas time, and the Rebel Alliance is gearing up for their final showdown with the Empire. The plot twist is when all seems hope seems lost, an unlikely hero emerges, Santa Claus, <laughs> with the help of his trusty elves and magical sleigh. All right, let's try again. Okay, so this one's Star Wars version of Christmas Carol. I'm a little reluctant to do a Star Wars Christmas film given what happened last time that was attempted. Oh, and on the count of one, stir, whip, sir, whip, 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 stir, stir, whip, sir, whip, 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 stir. All right, hopefully third time's a charm. Okay, this is looking a lot better. The Star of Bethlehem, a journey through the past to find the true meaning of Christmas. Jack is a young historian with a troubled past. Sarah is a kind and compassionate museum curator. George is a wise and elderly professor. And then there's Michael, the mysterious and shadowy figure. Jack is hired by Sarah to help with a special exhibit at the museum on the history of the Christmas star. 
as they dive deep into the research they discover a hidden message that leads them on a journey through time, travelling back into the time of the biblical story of the birth of Jesus. Along the way, they are guided by George and pursued by Michael, who wants the power of the star for himself. As they uncover the truth about the star, they also learn about the true meaning of forgiveness, love and redemption. It is revealed that Michael is actually Jack's long lost uncle, who had turned to a life of greed and corruption. He tries to steal the star's power for himself, but is ultimately defeated by love and forgiveness. So for this next one, I thought it'd be cool to see what a Peter Jackson Christmas movie would be like. The anti a Christmas showdown. One villain, one hero, one epic Christmas battle. The cast, Santa Claus, the jolly old man himself who brings joy to children everywhere. The anti a bitter and wicked being who seeks to ruin Christmas for all. Jack Frost is a young boy with a troubled past who becomes Santa's unlikely ally in the fight against the anti Jack Frost was orphaned at a young age and has always struggled to find a place in the world. He is distrusting of others and has a tendency to lash out when feeling threatened. Jack is recruited by Santa to help him take down the anti who has been causing chaos and ruining Christmas for years. Together, they travel to the North Pole and confront the anti who reveals that he was once a beloved toy maker and was betrayed by Santa and turned to the dark side. Jack is able to relate to the anti feelings of betrayal and helps him see the error in his ways, leading to a Christmas miracle and the restoration of the holiday spirit. So for this last movie, I really wanted to do something with Jodorowsky. He has a really unique visual style that particularly Mid-Journey seems to pick up on. So here we go, The Winter Witch, where magic and madness meet. Luna is a young woman with a troubled past and a mysterious connection to the dark powers of winter. Luna was orphaned as a child and spent her youth on the streets, developing a proficiency for thievery and deception. How she also discovered she had a natural talent for magic and became drawn to the darker, more dangerous aspects of the craft. Jack is a cynical detective with a chip on his shoulder and a history of anger issues. The Winter Witch is an ancient being who has been manipulating events in the city for centuries. As Christmas approaches, a series of bizarre and inexplicable events plague the city. People are disappearing, animals turning up mutilated, and strange symbols are appearing all over the place. Luna and Jack are drawn into the mystery and soon realise that the Winter Witch is the person behind it all. The Witch is using the power of the Winter Solstice to amplify her magic and take over the city, and only Luna and her allies have the power to stop her. It turns out that Luna is actually the Winter Witch's daughter, and the Witch has been manipulating events to bring Luna to her side. However, Luna ultimately chooses to stand against her mother and use her own dark powers to defeat her. The city is a dark and shadowy place with hidden alleyways and abandoned buildings. The final confrontation takes place in a frozen wasteland outside of the city, where the full extent of the Winter Witch's power is revealed. Alright, well that's it. Hope you enjoyed having a look at these AI generated Christmas movies. They definitely came out pretty unique looking I think. It's pretty amazing to see how far AI image generation has come in such a short amount of time. Alright, well that's it. Um, happy holidays and see you next time.